Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Yes, I'm aware of the huge mess behind me. Do I care about it? Not really. Kind of in the middle of a bunch of different home improvement projects, and this is kind of where all of my craft stuff has ended up behind the camera. I actually have a bunch of cubbies that everything's gonna go into, and it's gonna be great and organized, but right now, behind me is a work in progress. We're just gonna ignore it, and it's gonna be fine. Everything's fine. I have my first craft table coming up in a couple of weeks. So I have taken inventory of what I have to put on that table, all my ready-made stuff that's hiding in a couple of plastic foot lockers. Decided I wanted to make a couple more things to add to that table. So that is what I am working on this week. Today's project is going to be one of my chicken bag holders, chicken bag hyphen holders, not chicken bags, bag holders. That looks like a chicken. <laughs> I, like I'm sure many out there, have a hoard of plastic grocery bags that usually just end up stuffed inside of one of the grocery bags, but I wanted to make a better solution to that, and I thought what better way to store those bags than to stuff them in a chicken, I guess. So let's go do that. Oh hey, this is the first time I get to actually record at my desk. Monumentous occasion. Now there are no rules when it comes to how many colors you can use for a chicken bag. I happen to use about six or seven colors when I make mine. I'm gonna start with a myriad of blues and greens, some yellow and a couple shades of orange, a skein of black and some white. I'll be using my H or five millimeter crochet hook pair of child's safety scissors, my yarn needle, and some stuffing. And let me just scooch this out of the way. I'm gonna start with this lighter shade of green and my slip knot. And I'll get a start on the body of my chicken bag holder. switching to blue so we can start on a couple rows of stripes. Alternating between the blue as well as this light yellow color. My next row is going to be a bobble row, and it's going to alternate between the two colors, having the three-dimensional bobbles be a different color than the rest of the stitches. Next, we'll use this darker green to form a wider band, a wider stripe. And now we'll do some more stripes. Nope, these aren't stripes. We'll do another section of bobbles where the bobbles are a different color than the rest of the surrounding stitches. Realize that I made a little mistake, so we're just gonna do some unwinding and go ahead and redo this row. Gonna do a couple more rows of stripes. 
I keep checking the top of my screen, my computer is just out of frame. I have a pattern written for this particular chicken bag holder. A goofy pattern that I came up with to store our horrific amount of plastic grocery bags that we had just shoved in a closet somewhere. Or anytime you'd open the closet, you'd have a slight avalanche of grocery bags. So to corral all of them, I created this chicken with the idea that you would shove the bags into its beak. And obviously it needs to go through the proper digestive channels. So when you need to pull a bag out, you need to pull the bag out of its butt. Which I find absolutely hilarious. Oh hey, and we're back, just in time for another bobble roll. I really like the custom ability with this pattern. Custom ability even a word? I was close. Anyway, you can mix and match all these different colors and just get inspiration from almost anything. I've been inspired by Vichinanki roosters. By the way, that's Polish for cut paper design. I've been inspired by cell phone cases, any other piece of art, tons of different things. And when in doubt, there's always Pinterest. Make them match whatever your decor may be for all of you who decorate with functional chickens. Y'all better be careful around this unfinished beak hole. Never know what could be hiding in there. Hey everybody, call to action time. If you're not already, go ahead, subscribe to my channel, click that like button to mess with the algorithm, slap some comments in the comment section because we all know that everybody is entitled to their opinion, especially on the internet. Give my social medias a like or follow. I'm on Instagram and Facebook. And if you want to make your very own chicken, I do have the pattern available on both my Etsy and Ravelry shops. And now back to your regularly scheduled programming. What did I say? I said, be careful around the unfinished beak hole and you didn't and look what happens. Cripes. Now that whole time I've been nagging you and I went ahead and made a hanger for this thing. All right, time for some sweet, sweet transitions. This beak hole needs a beak. Rolling up the sleeve so you know I'm serious about this beak. Test it out to make sure that the beak works. Now we need to add some eyes. Next up is the comb and the little waddly things. Perfect. Let's go see how it fares in the chicken run. My chickens were not fond of their new friends. But allow us to demonstrate how to fill your chicken bag with bags and where chicken bag bags come out. 
This guy turned out great. I love this pattern. I love the flexibility and all the different colors you can get out of these guys. I think I'm gonna make, make a lot more of these throughout summertime and experiment with all the different color combinations, maybe make some sport ball related ones. Really air conditioner. Well, hopefully you can hear me over the sound of the air conditioner. I'd like to thank y'all very much for watching. I appreciate the crap out of you. And until next time, okay, I love you, bye. Oh Lord, we are quite messy back there. Tuck those babies in so I don't get disqualified from the gymnastics final. Points to you if you get that reference. Should not have eaten cheese before this. I'm gonna do it anyway though. Snakes everywhere, including in this chair. Ha! Oh, I'm hilarious. I cheese out of my teeth. I feel like that's a very Wisconsin thing. Get rid of your gallbladder and then your entire digestive system. So I'll like, feed me 24-7. Not like I didn't do that to begin with. Forever hungry. Is the mess back here aesthetically pleasing? No. Well. I don't want to though. Ow. Balls. Right in the funny bone. All right. I didn't cry yet. So it's been a good day. Sound off in the comments if your first reaction to any kind of inconvenience is to immediately cry like myself.